hey, I wanted to challenge myself to build out an entire massive feature of my AI trip planner app in 30 minutes. Do you think it's possible? I recently added the ability to text myself my whole trip itinerary using an AI generated summary. It looks over the events, hotels and travel on my holiday and texts it to me using Twilio. First, let's take a look under the hood of my app and the feature itself. Backing the trip planner are four object types. We have trips, events, accommodation, and travel. Each trip has hard ontology links to the events, accommodation, and travel. We also have various actions back in my app. Every time I press a button, it kicks off one of these actions, looking at how I can create, modify, or delete different trip activity. Let's look into the send itinerary text action. It uses a function, just some simple TypeScript code, and calls an AIP logic block. This is 100% no code. It uses an LLM to look over the events, hotels, and travel on my holiday to generate a summary. Finally, this uses a webhook to text myself the summary. This is a massive feature with both backend and front end changes. Do you think I can do this in 30 minutes? If you want to give it a try, head on over to build.palantir.com and sign up. We have our timer set. I am kind of nervous. Boom. Okay, first things first, I am going to just put the button here in my front end as a placeholder. I'll call it text itinerary. So if I go to view mode, there we go. It's right there. Perfect. Great. Now I need to create a webhook. So I'm going to go to data connections, create a REST API connection to Twilio API. Boom. I've already got a Twilio account set up and I've tested this. Please don't take my credentials. I've already set up an egress policy. It takes like 30 seconds if you're doing this from scratch. Create a new webhook. So we've we've created the base connection. So auth, we've already got auth set up from doing the REST API. So this will be a post. So we'll, we'll just do this in the body. Uh, we'll do form data. And this is just using the spec that Twilio have outlined. Body, we're gonna create a new parameter here and put parameter create something called, let's just call it message for now. Uh, create webhook and continue. Great, okay. Does this work? I have my SIM card in here set up. Go to build.palantir.com. Test webhook. Does this actually work? Great, okay. Yeah, 12.30, go to build.palantir.com. Boom, okay, webhook set up. I can import it wherever I need. Now I just need to create an AIP logic block that can take a trip, any trip, look over the linked events, accommodation and travel, and I should be able to generate trip itinerary. This is going to be our 100% no code, low code solution. So it's gonna take just a single trip. And so this could be, you know, your trip to Madrid, New York, whatever. So it's going to search around, get the linked travel, get the linked events on this trip, and finally get the linked accommodation on this trip. So now we can actually simply use an LLM. Our prompt is gonna be, give me an itinerary based on the accommodations, travel, and events thing, so. Great, so I just want it to return a short message if there's nothing on the itinerary so that when I actually decide to send a text message, I don't send a text message if there's just nothing on the trip and that will save me some Twilio money. I did that wrong. <laughs> um, don't need that, don't need that. So we've got our trip, we get the linked travel, we get the linked events, and we get the linked accommodation. And now we can give the, uh, what do we need? We need name, booking status, book by, check out, boom. So that's gonna auto create something that grabs those properties for me there. And then we also wanna give it the events, event name, and finally travel. I think that's reasonable. Cool, okay, so this should, run over all of the linked trips, accommodation events, travel on my trip. Let's just test this out. 
So Madrid 2024, actually, I know for a fact that has quite a few things on it as a trip and we'll preview run, see what this says. Is it able to get linked objects? I think so. Boom, okay, successful. And it's able to summarize everything nice and neatly into a well-formatted message. But let me just check over New York, which New York doesn't actually have anything on the itinerary and it's telling me so. I'm happy to save this. Sure, okay, generate trip itinerary, publish. All right, boom, we've got the button, we've got the trip itinerary AIP logic block webhook set up. Now we just need to set up the function and the action that can actually run this from the front end. I'll go to my functions repository and here you can see all the terrible code I've already written. So I'll, I'll wait for this to load up we do get the ability to live preview the functions that I write. And first things first, I do need to import the things that I've just made. So generate trip itinerary. I'm just blind, I didn't see that before. So I should be able to import this. Boom. I just want to import the webhook that I made earlier. So, but this should import right there. Perfect. So now it's just a matter of gluing the AIP logic function together with the ability to actually send the text message. First, we'll actually just generate the message itself. So we'll say message equals, we'll just assign this to the trip that we have in the input. So if the length is less than 50, then we just want to return um, did not send message. Can we try this out? Select Madrid 2024. So it was able to actually send the text and I did get the text. Let's go. Okay, that did just come through. Now let's hook this up to my front end. Finally, let's commit this created function to send texts of itinerary. Boom. Tag this up to a new release. So I'll just go to the ontology manager now. Seven minutes left. Can we do this? I just need to create a new action type that goes ahead and calls that function. I can then put that action in my front end. All right, boom, ready. Function has been published and created. We've tested it. Create a new action that calls this function. Itinerary text. It's got our TypeScript code there. I'll be unimaginative, exactly the same name as the function. I could do an icon, but I'm trying to be quick. Boom. Save to ontology. And that's all done and created for me. Nice. I can now go back to my trip planner. Five minutes on the clock. Can we do this? On click, I want it to call that action. So I'll search right here. Send itinerary text action. That's what I called it. We already have the selected trip variable, which is an output from this drop down widget here. Selected trip. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to save and publish this because I feel confident. Four minutes 40 left on the clock. I press the button. Will it work? Will it send the action? Can we do it? And there we go. It just sent 12.54. Boom, done. And actually, I'm just going to make a minor change. Can we have it appear with the logic of what's happening on the screen? So this is going to show live runs of generate trip itinerary. So on start of action submission, I want it to open the itinerary generation panel on the right. So it shows me what's going on, what the thinking is behind that AIP logic function that I made. I'm gonna try that one more time, just for good luck. So I press a button and it should open up with this panel with the itinerary that's been made and boom. Okay, does it text it? Yes, it does. I think we can say we're done. We did everything. Two minutes left on the clock. Okay, there we go. If you want to try this out yourself, head on over to build.palantir.com, sign up, get your own dev stack, I do want this to be available soon so you can mess around with my trip planner. But till then, get building, good luck, enjoy, have a good one.